problem. Suppose A and B are independent events. independent events independent events with p of a is equal to 0.6 p of b equals to 0.7 compute compute first p of a intersection b second p of a union b third p of b conditioned on a fourth p of a complement that means a bar intersection b complement b bar so this we have to calculate it here given A comma B are independent events. It's given clear. P of A zero point six and P of B zero point seven. first problem so first problem p of a intersection b since a comma b are independent events by using multiplication theorem this p of a intersection b can be written as p of a into p of b so now this is 0.6 into 0.7 First seven into six forty two write down two decimal points, so zero point four two. It's the first problem. Next second one. Second one. P of A union B. This P of A union B can be written as one minus P of A union B whole bar. This is one minus P of A bar intersection B bar. De Morgan's law. Okay, this can be written one minus P of A bar into P of B bar. I already told you the earlier problems. If A comma B are independent events, their complementary events also independent. So we get by multiplication theorem like this. So now one minus this can be written one minus p of a. This can be written one minus p of b. So one minus one minus zero point six into one minus zero point seven. So this is equal to one minus this is zero point four. Into zero point three. This is one minus twelve means zero point one two. You have to subtract one point zero 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 point one two. So eight eight zero point eight eight zero point eight eight. This is second one. So now let us come to the third one. 
third one means P of B conditioned on A. Since A comma B are independent, so there is no B does not depend on A, happening of A that is why it is equal to P of B. So, P of B is already given 0 0.7. Next fourth one, P of A bar intersection B bar. So, this is nothing but P of A bar into P of B bar, just we have done here. So, P of A bar is 1 minus P of A into 1 minus P of B. So, 1 minus 0 0.6 into 1 minus 0 0.7, this is 0 0.4 into 0 0.3, 0 0.12, that is our answer. Next sixth problem. If A comma B are two events with with P of A union B is equal to 0 0.65 and P of A intersection B is equal to 0 0.15. Then, then find the value of P of A complement plus P of B complement, these two values we have to find out. Okay. So, P of A complement plus B of P of B complement means 1 minus P of A plus 1 minus P of B, that is 1 minus of P A plus P B. That means from these two we have to find out P A plus P B. Then we can easily calculate the value of P of A bar plus P of B bar. Okay? So, now P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. This is addition theorem. P of A plus P of B is equal to P of A union B minus sorry plus P of A intersection B. So, these two values are given 0 0.65 plus 0 0.15 this is 0 0.8. Now, we have to calculate P of A bar plus P of B bar. Okay? This is equal to 1 minus P of A plus 1 minus P of B. For our convenience, we can write 1 plus 1, 2 minus of P A plus P B. See this P A plus P B is already known that is 0 0.8. So, this is 2 minus 0 0.8 that is equal to 